Hey y'all, welcome to sixth grade, chapter 12, lesson one. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, so in order to recognize statistical questions, you need to understand that um, a statistic is a series of data. So it's not just one thing. It is, um, you need different data points. So you need at least three really data points. Um, so, you know, if you are measuring uh, on average how tall the class is, then you need to measure multiple children, not just one, okay? So now we're gonna find the statistical question, okay? What is this? It's, uh, it's giving you two options and you're gonna pick the one that is the statistical question. So it says, what is the score in the first frame of the bowling game? So that's only one frame, okay? Or what are the scores in 10 frames of the bowling game? Well, that's gonna be B, because there are multiple data points, okay? Or because the, the scores can vary. And there are more than one, okay? All right, so Number three says, how many hours of television did you watch each day this week? Well, each day means that there's multiple days. Or how many hours of television did you watch on Saturday? That's only one day. So it's gonna be A, the hours could vary. And there are multiple data points or multiple days, okay? Okay, so now we're going to write a statistical question you could ask in the situation. So it says a teacher recorded the test scores of her students. Okay, well, we could say, what was the highest test score recorded? Okay, we could say what was the average? Okay, so y'all can pick one of those and go with it, okay? It says a car salesman knows how many of each model of a car was sold in a month. Well, so we could say what was the model that was sold the most or least, so. What model sold the most? And I'm gonna just put a backslash least because it could be either one, okay? All right, we are gonna go down to number six and it says the city tracked the amount of waste that was recycled from 2000 to 2007. Write a statistical question about the situation. Okay, so we could say, um, in what year was the most or least amount recycled? I'm doing the backsplash again. Okay, all right. It says the daily low temperature is recorded for a week write a statistical question about the situation. So you guys do number seven, okay? You totally can. We're gonna go on to the back where you guys are gonna do the lesson check just like always, okay? We're gonna go down to the power review. So the regular decagon has side length of four centimeters long. If the decagon is divided into 10 congruent triangles, each has the approximate height of 6.2 centimeters. What is the approximate area of the decagon? Okay, so in order to find the area of a triangle, which is what we need, base times height, and we can either times that by one half or we could divide that by two um, when we're not dealing with 
a fraction, it's easier for me to divide by two. Okay, so we have the base, which will be the four centimeters, the height, 6.2, and we're going to divide that by two. Okay, so first let's do 6.2 times four. Okay, now four times two is eight, four times six is 24. We're gonna go in one time for that decimal, 24.8, okay? So now I'm gonna do the divide by two. Okay, make sure that you immediately lift your decimal so that you don't forget it. Two goes into two one time, one times two is two. Subtract, get zero. Zero is definitely smaller than two, so I'm gonna bring down my four. Two goes into four, two times, two times two is four, subtract, get zero. And zero is still smaller than two, I'm gonna bring down my eight, goes in four times, four times two is eight, subtract. So 12.4 for one of the triangles, okay? But there are 10 of them, so 12.4, Okay, and we need to multiply that by 10. So if you need to do this, you absolutely can, but I know when you multiply a number that has a decimal by 10, it means you're moving that decimal one time to the right, which gives us 124. So 124 centimeters squared. Okay, you can absolutely write out square centimeters if you want to. I'm not going to, but make sure that you pause to show your work, guys. Okay. Okay. So we're going to go to the next one. Mickey uses the net. Sorry, Mickey uses the net shown to make a solid figure. What solid figure does Mickey make? Well, that would be the base of the triangle. So whatever it is, it's a triangular. And when we fold those sides up, it's going to be a pyramid. So it's a triangular pyramid. Okay. A prism is filled with 30 cubes with half unit side lengths. What is the volume of the prism in cubic units? Okay. The prism is filled with 30 cubes. Okay, let's do it. Okay, I'm gonna use the same piece of paper. I'm just gonna draw a line, guys, okay? Don't confuse the two. Okay, so in order to find the area of a prism, or sorry, the volume of a prism, okay, we're doing length times width times height, okay? And there's 30 of those, so we're gonna multiply it by 30, okay? But first, we need to do one half, one half, one half. And then I'm going to put that 30 over one just so that it's easy. Okay. So one times one times one times 30 is 30. Two times two times two times one is eight. Okay. So now, if you need to do this this way, you absolutely can. There's nothing wrong with that. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and do that that way. Okay, so eight's going to go into, it's not going to go into three, but it'll go into 30 three times. Three times eight is 24. Subtract, get six. Okay. Now, now I have a remainder of six. Okay. Well, six is my new denominator and my, sorry, six is my new numerator and my denominator stays the same. Okay, but six over eight can be reduced. They can both be reduced by two. So I'm still gonna have that big three. Okay, that doesn't go anywhere. But two goes into six three times, two goes into eight four times. Okay, so three and three quarters. Let 
unit cubed or you can write cubic unit. Okay, totally your call, whichever one you want to do. Okay. Okay. So let's do the last one here. So the tank in the shape of a rectangular prism has a length of 22 inches, a width of 12, and a height of 15. If the tank is filled halfway with water, how much water is in the tank? Okay. So 22, 12, and 15. Okay. Okay, so let's do it, y'all. Okay, we're going to we're going to do the length times the width times the height. Okay, and it's filled halfway, so as soon as we're done, we're going to divide it by two. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Twenty-two times twelve. Okay, two times two is four. Two times two is four. I'm going to go ahead and tick, tack, and toe, and then 1 times 22. So, 4, 6, 2. Okay, so now I'm going to put that 264 up here, and I'm going to multiply it by the 15, because I did this one and I did this one. Now I need the 15. Okay. Okay. 5 times 4 is 20. Carry the 2. 5 times 6 is 30, plus 2 is 32. Carry the 3. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 3, 13. Okay, we're going to tick, tack, and toe, and then 1 times 264. Add them up. 0, 6, 9, 3. So now, 3, 9, 6, 0, and we're going to divide that by 2. Okay, almost done, guys. Okay. 2 goes into 3 one time. 1 times 2 is 2. Subtract and get 1. 1 is smaller than 2, so I'm going to bring down my 9. 2 is going to go into 19, actually 9 times. 9 times 2 is 18. Subtract, get 1 again. 1 is still smaller than 2. I'm going to bring down my 6. 2 goes into 6. 8 times. 8 times 2, sorry, 16. 16. have 0 left over. Now, because... I ended in a zero and I only have a zero left. I'm going to push that zero straight up and not bother bringing it down. So 1,980 cubic units. You can also put units cubed. Same thing. Okay. But make sure that you pause this, go back and write it down. Okay. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out for 12.1. Come on back for 12.2. See you soon.